Hi everybody, and welcome to this video on creating an outline, the second in the series of tools to help you with your writing assignments. After you've identified an interesting topic at the intersection of an issue and a theory, it's time to start brainstorming your outline. Do this first, before you begin your in-depth research, before you begin to write. Your outline will be a dynamic method of organizing your thoughts. The more you discover about your topic, the more you can add to your outline until it reaches the point where it's fleshed out enough to write. Your outline will contain several sections. The first is the introduction. The introduction includes your topic. My paper is on XYZ, whatever your topic might be, just briefly. Next is the background information you want to include. Background information is context about the problem or the issue or the topic. The circumstances or the situation that surrounds the topic. It will help if your reader understands the context of the problem. And then next, you'll be looking for some other engaging information about the topic. What is it that will hook the reader in and help the reader to become engaged with your writing? Finally, you'll be using a thesis statement. Not one sentence, but quite often a few sentences that clearly state the central idea of your paper and the importance of that idea. This well-written thesis statement will guide the reader through the paper. I would spend a lot of time on this, more so than many other aspects of this, because a well-designed thesis statement is essential to any paper. Once you have that down, you'll be getting into the nitty-gritty the body of the paper. Subtopic one is, capital letter A is, however you want to label it, but subtopic one is, write it out in enough words that you can remember it tomorrow and the next day and the day after when you get back to this. Your topic sentence is the lead sentence in your paragraph. It's an umbrella that makes a statement of fact we call it a claim that talks about everything that's going to be in this paragraph. If the topic sentence doesn't really address it, then your topic sentence is not broad enough because it needs to cover everything that's in the paragraph. And you'll see a little bit more about that in further videos down the line. You also want to list your article citations in APA format. So right about now you're guessing that you should probably not be doing this in pencil, but in Word because you can copy and paste your APA citations. You'll find that your articles may address more than one subtopic, maybe one, three, and five. You'll want to list it in all of them because your outline becomes a guide for your writing. Again, topic, part one, Part two, part three, topic sentence that embraces the main idea of the paragraph and a list of relevant citations. After that, you'll come down to your conclusion. You'll restate your thesis in a way that is creative and new and not copy pasted from the beginning. You'll describe why this is important. Now, as you're doing this, don't come up with a throwaway statement that says, if we do this, all children will learn math and will become better citizens. No. Stick with something concrete that will be an outcome of the purpose of the paper. Whatever your thesis statement is, come up with a concrete reason why this is important to do this. What's the outcome? What's the purpose? What's going to happen? And that, ladies and gentlemen, 
is how you outline your research paper.